What is going on guys and welcome back. And for today's episode, we're back in the garage with another AI project. Today we're actually gonna be upgrading the speakers and the Subi. Uh, but first things first, if you guys haven't already, make sure to check out the fog light or the ditch light install I did a couple of days ago um, on the Subi. That one gave me a little bit of issues, but finally got it resolved. Um, so today we're moving on to the interior. We're installing some speakers. Now, if you guys are looking for speakers or my recommendations, there are three brands that I recommend for speakers. Kicker, Alpine, and JBL. So if you guys are wondering like what's a good brand to go with or you know what kind of speakers I need, first things first, find out what speaker size your car uses. Most cars nowadays are six and a half inch speakers or six by nines. Some of them are like six by eights or five and a quarter for some of the smaller sedan cars. Uh, my car, however, takes six and a half or six by nines in the front and six and a halves in the back. Pretty easy Google search is search up to make a model of your car along with the year and just say what size speakers. That would be your first step. The next thing you're gonna need is a couple of other things as well. You're also gonna need a bracket more than likely and harnesses. And I'll show you guys everything that I'm using for this car in a second. Um, but yeah, if you guys are looking for speaker recommendations, JBLs, if you're not gonna put an amp on them, if you are gonna put an amp on them, definitely recommend going to Kicker CS if you're looking on a low budget or Kicker's KS if you're going on a high budget. And then also Alpines if you're putting a, an amp on it as well. Definitely good to a pair of those up with an amp. However, for the JBLs, if you decide to go with the JBLs like I am, definitely do not need an amp for those. They sound great on their own. One thing that we did realize is if you put an amp with the JBL speakers, may not be the best. So uh, that's why I decided to go with the JBLs for this car because I don't want to put an amp, unlike I did with the Accord, where I had a multi-channel amp for all the speakers. But let me go to show you guys the the uh, speakers along with the bracket and the harness. So as you guys can take a look, we got the JBL speakers. These are the six by nines that go on the door, and those are the six and a halves that go in the back. Funny thing is, it's usually backwards. Most cars have the six and a halves in the front and the six by nines in the back. But this car is set up a little bit different. Um, you're also gonna need the brackets as well because by themselves alone, they won't fit correctly on the door. So you need a bracket to make them work right. Um, and if you take a look, it's funny because you say they're for Toyota, but they're actually not for this car. They actually make them for different vehicles and they fit different models. So bracket for the front and bracket for the back. Definitely recommend buying a harness as well because these will make everything a lot easier. Um, they allow you to basically pair the speaker to the factory wiring without having to do anything else. Alrighty guys, before I put them on, I'm gonna show you guys the speakers because sheesh, these looks hella nice. Look at that. That's a six and a half inch speaker. It comes with a universal bracket, but these things never work to be honest. So I recommend buying the brackets made for the car themselves. Um, also, it comes with a grill because you can actually mount these in custom made boxes. And that's what these grills are for essentially. But unfortunately, since they're inside the door, you never see these grills and we never put them on. And that makes me kind of sad because these grills look kind of nice. But that's a six and a half inch one, and then six by nines. You got two tweeters, a speaker. Same thing. It comes with the little. Uh, it comes with the, uh, the or the uh, grills. Pretty nice overall, but unfortunately, not gonna be able to use these. And let's go ahead and start disassembling the doors. Whew. If you guys have never taken your door panel apart, super easy. Don't be scared. Super super easy. Pretty much, these are all uh, pushed in by pressure clips, so all you have to do really is just get a good grip underneath. Um, you can use a, like a pry tool that's flat and kind of lift this out and start pulling the edges around, and eventually this door will pop out. Um, I believe there's also gonna be a screw in there, most of the time, yep, there it is. Pop that open, unscrew that, and usually there's also one in here as well, which if I take a look in there, I think I see the opening. So pop that open too, unscrew that bolt that's in there, when you pop this out, there's connections to these buttons, so make sure to unplug in, and then you'll be able to remove the door. All right, as you see, door panel is off. All I did really is unscrew the screw right there, screw right there, pull this towards me, it popped out the centerpiece, worked my way all the way around, and then once I got to the top, I lifted it up. So now, if you guys can see, we got our cabling down there. I'm gonna go disconnect the switches for the windows. So, switches down here in the middle. Probably gonna just try to leave this cable alone for now. If you do, if you do pop it up for some reason, um, as you guys can see, that's what it looks like. It's supposed to go into some inside of the hook right there in case it falls out, just like that right there. And as you guys see, our speakers right there. Go ahead and disconnect that, and then unscrew everything, mount it with the new bracket and the new speaker. Guys, so take a look. This is the OEM speaker. Look at this. Literally like paper. This is why I always recommend uh, swapping out speakers when you get a new car because these are complete 
not the best let's just put it that way it'd be nice <laughs> this is a new speaker right here we're gonna be swapping it out with and just just look at that i think it's clean look at the size of the magnet on the back compared to this tiny one i think it's tiny but as you can see pretty simple four bolts came off let's go ahead and grab the bracket grab the new uh speaker and pop it in all right guys so quick little update got the speaker in there it took me some time to figure out this bracket because the holes don't align right for some reason when mounting the speaker onto the bracket so two of the holes will align the other two will not align correctly so what i had to do is i mounted two screws into the ones that did fit and then the ones that did not fit because if you can take a look you can see where it's supposed to go in but it didn't i mounted a screw in there basically into the plastic same thing on the other side uh, mounted a screw into the plastic and it fit just fine uh, wired it in and then same thing with these uh, screws as well they don't fit correctly because this bracket has this little wedge part right here that goes over this bolt so you basically just have to go over the bolt and screw it down um, like I said this is the correct bracket made for this vehicle obviously there's not gonna be perfect sometimes you have to make adjustments but as you guys can see it looks pretty sick in there I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that it closes correctly with this back on if it does we'll go ahead and do the other side and then I'll show you guys this back speaker all right guys check it out back speaker is on this bracket fit way better than the front backers did basically plug and play for this one so super easy but dude i can't get over how nice they look compared to the paper like speakers they give you in the car um also another quick thing so for the front speakers it didn't come with little tiny screws um luckily if you buy the six by nines and the six by six and a halves six and a halves come with a lot of screws a lot of extra screws so you could potentially use these to mount the speaker onto the bracket if you don't you're basically going to go to like home depot or something and buy some small screws very, very small screws there you go little small screws just like that you may have to purchase that separately if uh, you don't buy the six and a half six by nine for some reason don't come with any so just know that if you install the six by nines up front you may need to buy extra screws Alrighty guys, so speakers are installed, door panels are back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and try my best to show you guys a demo what it sounds like. Unfortunately, I might not be able to show like a mainstream song just because of YouTube. Um, they're gonna copyright it if I put like a top like 10 hit song. So I found something on SoundCloud that I can play for you guys. And overall, I mean, I played it at full blast. And dude, it sounds on point. Like it sounds pretty good overall. I'm really happy about the way it turned out. And as much as I like the Kicker brand, because like I said, I was Kicker everything before. I don't know, JBL, these speakers are something else. <laughs> so let's go ahead and play this song real quick. It's called Juice, um, and I'll link it down below. Alrighty guys, so that's pretty much going to be it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little demo and installation of how everything went down. Like I said, it's pretty easy to do. Just take your time with it. Um, I, when I actually went through with it, it took me about an hour to do. And then when I finished up, turned the car on and was listening to it, I realized that the left side wasn't coming out. So I went back, undid it real quick in like two minutes. Realized that the connection had gotten loose at one point. So I went back, made a tight snug fit on it, made a couple of pulls, didn't come out. And as you guys can see, Sounds on point. So that's pretty much it gonna be for the video. The only other thing that I think I might do for sound system wise, add a hideaway. 
Like I was mentioning in the video, it's basically a speaker that goes underneath the seat. It's a box, amp, and stuff all in one. And it doesn't take up a lot of room. And there's a one that Kicker makes actually, uh, coincidentally, <laughs> that actually fits right underneath the seat. So I think I might go ahead and just go through with that one. Um, but we'll see, I'm still thinking about it. Other than that guys, I am done for the night. It is approximately like two in the morning. And uh, I think it's time to go to bed finally. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed the bit today's video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.